Hey Minecrafters, welcome back to the channel. Or to the channel if you're new here and to episode 14 in our Cottage Witch mod pack series. So we have a couple of things to do today and we're going to go finish the bandit tower. So grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is that you get for while you watch videos. And let's get on with the fun. Alrighty, so we're back in Cottage Witch. I'm really excited because I haven't played this pack in a minute and we have a lot to do. So let's go over the comments that I have uh, on my list here and then we will get into it. So Elle says, yay, Creo finally got that achievement. So if you guys watched the last video, you know, I got that achievement because I unalived. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, we finally got it, Elle. We finally got it. <laughs> Thanks for the comment though. And Zadrian says there's a cute broom stand you could make as well in the cauldron. So that's awesome. I will definitely look at that. I'm going to put that in my little list here. One second. Oh, I think yeah, we were looking at these before. Okay, let's do the uh let's do the the willow one. <clears throat> okay. So thank you, Zadrian. I appreciate you for that comment. And Zelda also says, you said any hoozle and it set off my Google Assistant. I actually ended up reading that comment when I was streaming and it made me laugh so hard. I, do, I don't mean to set off your Alexas and Google assistants and all that stuff, so I, I apologize. <laughs> Thank you for the comment, you guys. <laughs> Thank you for the comments, you guys. I appreciate them. There's also one one more person's comments I'd like to go over. Um, so on episode six, if you guys want to go back and read all of the, the, the interaction with this person, I'm not going to read every single thing that was said. But um, so Howie is actually one of the integrated dungeons and structures uh builders so i want to read a couple of these because it was really really just they're so sweet and it was really nice to be able to interact with them so th they said hi creathena integrated dungeons and structures builder here so nice to hear your feedback on the building designs and i'm really happy that you're enjoying the mod also i'm loving the series you have inspired me to want to play the mod pack keep up the good work <laughs> and then you put x howie and then they said ps the bee house was one of my favorite builds to create so that bee house that you guys saw they created that which is amazing and they said i like i use it as my home base whenever i play modded so that's adorable i Oh, thank you so much for the comment, Howie. There's a couple more things here I'm going to read out that they said. So I commented back to them and then they said, uh, you're very welcome. We are like-minded in that we love to loot and explore cool buildings. It's a driving factor for what we do and we love it. We are currently working on an integrated villagers mod. The whole team is designing their own village and bringing it all together to make for a fun experience for players. I'm tasked with creating a hobbit village, which is going well. I can't wait to see it. And because um, <clears throat> I had mentioned that Katsu and Ima did, uh, put a lot of love into this mod pack and it's amazing and all that stuff and they said they really did an amazing job with this this mod pack it's super fun and has some of my favorite de uh, deco mods in it like beautify those hanging pots are so nice for decorating porches and entrances etc and i agree i love beautify and then on episode 10 they commented and that was the one where i it was in that like a uh, haunted house with the pumpkin pumpkins and stuff like that and they said you found my haunted house build the inspiration for the build came from that time of year it was halloween and i was feeling the vibes also i'm a big fan of tim burton me too me too Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And so I tried to add in some of his style into the design. The build took me quite a long time to piece together, but I was super happy with the end result. And we are very happy with the end result because that build is incredible. So thank you for the comments, Howie. I appreciate you. It was really nice being able to talk with you. And I cannot wait to see the new mod. So keep up the awesome work. Appreciate you guys. So yeah, we are going to go back to Bandit Towers today. Finish that up. Do some looting and scooting there. And then, um, I don't know what we're going to do, honestly, because I really didn't plan too much. I ended up extending this wall here because um, I needed to move some of these chests around and make some more space after emptying out the uh, horrendous chest monster that was created from the last one. I did accidentally click this. I don't know if that was in the video or afterwards, but <laughs> I realized that this was now gray, but that's fine. So, uh, and yeah, we are going to have to make, going to have to, we're going to have to make another storage thing as well because yeah, we're just uh, running out of space and I ended up making some of the obsidian furnaces to make things a little bit faster over here. And yeah, that's uh, the, the updates and all the stuff and the things and all the jazz. So let's go back over to the bandit towers and get all that stuff done. Go and get the rest of that loot and yeah we we have some stuff to do we oh we can actually turn this in now all right uh, so you died it happens to us all eventually don't worry all your items are safe in a grave marking your last resting place you can use your grave finder to locate your last death as well as a mini map marker that's automatically placed there then right click on your grave to recover all your items and gear your experience however drops near your grave so make sure to collect it so yeah we did that during the episode and uh you, wow you went a long while without dying nice work buddy keep it up <laughs> 
<laughs> so this empty biome jar, by the way, I exp I talked about this in another video. So what you do is you take this to a biome with like the grasses that you really, really like, and then you, you put it down and it'll actually take that biome, like the, the, the type of biome colors and all that stuff and it'll actually put it into the jar and you can move it and move the grass colors around and stuff like that it's really really cool so we'll tinker around with that at some point uh today is not that day though because i have other stuff that we want to do or i want to do i should say let's put this stuff away so oh yeah this i think this is why i needed to extend it too because all of this stuff is in here for when we get the apotheosis stuff going so i can take all that jazz off of there um i don't think we got any totems that i I wanted to use or that I have the levels to use mind you um let's see yeah no we don't have any experience okay so yeah that's what I wanted to do uh eventually we can get that going so this is the oh hold on I have to turn off my my tooltips okay so where are our other cards we need to do regen three and that there okay so let's head back head back over to our uh, bandit towers uh nope sea towers that's the one now i think we did this one right did i not mark this one we did this one right because i don't loot them unless we for finish them so this one should be done um three this should be four right there we go okay so we just have these these ones over here to do okay i have bunny slippers on right no not bunny slippers slime boots okay so let's let's head over to these ones here and get ooh, get these finished i have to remember how to maneuver my slime boots ah, boom oh there we go after playing uh prominence <laughs> and not having uh the ability to uh oh god oh god oh god oh really first mob i have to deal with jesus nope i'm going down those are the guys that boot my snoot and killed me oh my god oh god hello hello can i get rid of your spawner i have to go we're just gonna oh there's a giant gekatoa in here we're just gonna run by everybody hello ouch ouch oh god oh. go get him thank you hello can't even go down the stairs without freaking bouncing this is the bottom floor nope oh my god i i'm trying to run i'm not jumping by the way like i'm running down the stairs and then it's like the game's making me bounce oh another floor oh god dang it i'm just trying to run game oh my god another floor i'm literally just trying to run down the stairs hello bats There more nope this is the bottom floor okay we're finally at the bottom floor holy guacamole oh geez louise okay i don't think i added danks into this did i i did wait did i make a dank yet or did i add a dank or is danks already in here i don't remember <laughs> i don't remember what i've added to what back uh we are gonna have to make some danks after this because uh yeah we we just we just need to do that because um yeah thanks are good for when you're you're doing the mining and all the stoof so that's I'm just gonna zip through these as quick as we can because i have other stuff i want to do today i have all kinds of stuff and things i want to do today uh, <laughs> we're just gonna zip on through and get the loots as much as we can Ooh, more more glow sticks and all that jazz oh is my music on i don't think it is there we go there we go because i remember i logged into uh to organize that craziness that was our chest monster and i had a video playing so oh my god look at all of the friggin oh god 
Hello, Mr. Whatever you are. Ooh, we got some quirk tomes. Let's go, BB. Let's go. If I seem a little out of it, my stomach is uh doing a thing today, so I apologize. Ow. Hello, stinky. Come here. Why are you hiding over there? And I loved seeing the amount of people that were replying uh, about the Pepsi and all that stuff. About the, the Coke and the Pepsi. You guys are awesome. I love, I always love seeing those kinds of comments. Just like seeing why people like things and what they like and stuff like that. So thanks for replying to the question. It was, it was nice seeing all those replies. Um, I'm not going to be super thorough, by the way, because we've already literally looted. The ex like, they all look the same, honestly. They look exact exactly the same. Exactly the same. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to finish looting all of them because I, I really don't want to spend the first half of the video doing exactly what we did at the last. It's just, it's basically all the same stuff. Same loot, same mobs. Uh, ow? Did you see how he... Wow, okay. He just took me down so far. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, health. Um, I should, you know what I should be doing? I should be putting uh, golden apples in there. Let me just go back and get, oh God, let me go back and get some golden apples if I could. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's just do this. I want to go back and get some golden apples. All right, I can do slash home in this pack, can I? I should have apples. Yes, I have tons of golden apples. Um, I'm gonna do... Oh, you know what's really funny, too, is we... I actually need... <laughs> oh, no. I need to get to cooking. We need to definitely do some cooking. Because, um, yeah, we're running out of foods. Or go on a little, like, hunt for some more... Uh, things that have food. Actually, maybe we'll do that. We'll go on like a, a village hunt or something like that while we go kind of explore around and maybe try to get some of the eyes for the end or something because, um, yeah. I hear you. Where are you? I heard you're, you're... Where is he? If you're buried in the walls, I don't care because I have other stuff to do. These are going to be empty, right? Yeah. It means these are probably going to be empty too. Maybe? Yes. Hello? Ow, the flashing lights. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My eyes do. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. No, I think we're just going to do this tower and then be done for the day because I cannot put up with those flashy lights today. Sorry, guys. Oh, my God. 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 Jesus. Yeah, I cannot put up with those flashy lights today. Sorry. So we'll just do this tower and then we'll we'll, we'll get out of here. My eyeballs cannot handle those flashy go bashy lights. Oh, wait a second. Another thing we need to do is we need to get that wither down at some point because I'd like to get the inception upgrade going. Hello? Hello? Oh, 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 it's a party. It's a party. It's a party. And I am going... Where, where is your spawner? Where is your spawner? Where is your spawner? I need you. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. I needed to kill the guy with the sparklies because I wanted the totem. What did I get? Step assist? Blit. No thanks. I will heavy pass on that. Thank you very much. I have enough struggle with my friggin' slime. Oh god! Oh! 
Jesus. Can I see that health? Good God. Ooh. I see interesting enchants. Now I'm not on the most recent version, um, because I know Emu pushed out uh Katu and Emu pushed out an update. But uh yeah. I'm not missing out on too much right now. If you guys are wondering if there's anything different, I think it was just like more uh, just fixes and stuff that Emo did. So I'll have to do that after I'm done recording because I, I get really nervous um, doing any type of updates right before I record. Just in case something happens. And I, of course, they're friggin' doing drilling above me. It's pretty much how it goes in a, in a building. Oh god, I can I cannot put up with these flashing lights today. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna need you guys to chill with them lights. Thank you. Ugh. Nope. Nope. Eyes don't like that. Nope. Eyes don't like that. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Eyes too sensitive today. Goodness gracious. Are, are we almost at the top? <laughs> My eyes cannot handle those lights today. For whatever reason, I cannot turn that off in 1.19, which sucks. Do not like, do not like, eyeballs no happy. Oh, hello. Why, hello there, treats. We do like some treats around here. <clears throat> and apparently throat no worky, and I know there's a thing right there, but I don't care. Oh, you got sparklies. What'd you drop me? Blindness. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you certainly are blinding me with those frickin' rockets. That is accurate. That is a very accurate, sir. Ow. There's something in these chests. Okay. How many floors we got left? My eyeballs are screaming at me. The eyeballs do be screaming. Oop. Nope. Oh, God. So unnecessary. Just give them normal rockets. Hello, Stinky. Ouch. There should be a chest up here. Another speed totem, my goodness. Oh. That was a sneaky one. That was a sneaky, oops. Uh, where'd it go? No! God! Stop! My poor eyeballs. Well, hello. Oh, goodbye. Please don't be any loot in these so I can leave. Yep, thank you, bye. Nope, no looting those either. Okay, goodbye. We are going to have so many freaking spawners. I actually think I'm just going to start breaking them with my normal pickaxe. Because we do not need this many spawners. All right. Finally. 
I, I I'll just leave a waystone here and come and loot these later because I could not be bothered with those friggin crazy blinding rockets right now. My eyes are too sensitive today for that. No, thank you. I will heavy pass, good sirs. I will heavy pass. Thank you, though. I appreciate you. I'm going to have to redo my food bag, though, which is fine. Uh, so we'll try to go and find some some goodies and stuff. I do need to learn how to make like the actual meals from um, uh, Farmer's Delight, which is funny because like I played with it for so long, but I still have not made those meals because I just like loot them from villages. All right, so that is done. Fill this all up here. I'm going to have to redo my food bag um, and then I will bring you guys back and we will go and do some other stuff and things. All righty, we're all emptied out. Everything's good. I've redone my little my food thing here. The thing is, I don't. Um, I don't have anything else in there. Put that away too. So let's go find a couple of villages. Loot some of their stuff. Uh, I guess we can RTP. And then we will get some food from there just so we can go and do the other stuff that I wanted to do and not spend, you know, uh, a ton of a ton of time cooking. Okay, and then we go like this. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping literally everything. Ow. Rude. Load. Wait, it's nighttime? It doesn't look that dark. What the heck? It doesn't look dark at all. What the frick? Well, F you then. Oh, hold on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we should we should tame the, the kangaroos and get them to fight for us. What? Hello? The heck was that weird lag? Jesus. Oh, I am no, I, I'm not, I'm not booping the, the kangaroo for the sparklies. Nope. Ow. Nope. I refuse. I refuse to do that thing. Kangaroos are good boys. This isn't uh, as big as I thought it was going to be, but okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I blocking you this time? Man, must suck to have somebody in your way every time you want to do something. Hmm, it's almost like, oh, I don't know, the same thing you guys do. Hmm. What's our, uh, our looting deodorant? Let's see. You're at 41, okay. It's like everything and anything is going wrong today, and I don't know why. Between the noise in the apartment building, as soon as I start recording, like I'm not even kidding, it wasn't happening until I hit record, uh, to my stomach acting like the absolute most ridiculous bundle of pain, to whatever the heck just happened there with that. Oh my, hello. This, oh my goodness. You guys are going to have to bear with me. It is just going to be one of those days. Yes, this is what I came for, baby. Give me all of these right now. Very disappointed that they uh, they don't appear in the villages in prominence. Oh, there's two of them. Okily dokily, I will take. Gib, thank you very much. Um, nom nom nom. I mean, I technically, I really, you know what I should be doing? I should just be carrying my bowls on me and not breaking them because now I have to place them back down. Ah, that's what I should have been doing. Ah, gosh dang it. Okay, hold on. That's what I should have been doing. That is what I should have been doing. 
but Creo's no big Creo is not having a big brain moment today. Oh frick off. Oh, that sound is so satisfying. I love the anim like the the little animation when it's uh when it's um going down like that. Okay, so that's already in there. That's already in there. Uh, a bowl of stuffed pumpkin should already be in there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I don't think I have the rice roll stuff in there, and I don't think I have this because I think those uh, got eaten already. So that is fine. That's fine. There we go, put you in there, and then we will do... Honey glazed ham is already in there. Why are you not getting picked up by the magnet? Cod roll, salmon roll. Man, I want sushi so bad. Plate of roast chicken, shepherd's pie. There we go, okay. Good. Hi. Am I gonna get lucky with another, another chef's house? So I can have some foods, some food, some food with food. I like food. Food is good. I don't like annoying little villager crotch goblins though. But please go away, thank you. This is supposed to be a large Badlands village. Like large where? <laughs> <laughs> Large wear. <laughs> oh my goodness. So silly. Okay. You should be repairing with the, the goodies. Thank you. Oh, we're out of experience. Okay. I'm going to have to make a mob farm is what I'm going to have to do. Oh boy. Okay. So there's probably going to be quite a bit of this video cut out today because between the craziness at the start and then the game giving me issues. Whew, oh man. It's going to be it's just literally one of those days. Uh, okay. So. We've got the food and everything in there. I still want to go and find maybe one more village. And then we're going to go through our quests because there are some really cool structures and stuff that I'd like to go explore. Um, especially, especially, I don't know if it is it in here. I don't think it is. I think I'll just have to find it with the compass. Uh, obtain rope ladder and a wooden rail. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Take those sticky pistons. Craft yourself some rope ladders and wooden rails to carefully traverse difficult terrain. Easy to make, easy to place, and able to chain across air gaps so that support blocks below them. Vertical and horizontal travel has never been so handy. Both can be placed similarly to scaffolding. Right click one, in, one onto another and they'll build in the direction you face. You can even pull your rope ladder up behind you by right clicking this hot piece. That's really cool. That's really freaking cool. Equipment and gear. Okay, so full set iron tools. Ba bam Full set. Ooh. Fancy, and then we have a miscellaneous one to turn in somewhere here. The, the take your biomes with you. Have you ever fallen in love with the color palette of one biome, but your base is somewhere else entirely? Well, worry not. With biome jars, you can pick up the biome and transport it. Right click the biome jar on the ground of the biome you want to take. Wait just long enough to go. Is this is this working? Bang! Yes, it's working. Once it completes its capture, you could right click it to pick it back up. Then take your jar and right click it on the area you want to transfer the new biome to. That's really, really cool. Maybe maybe we will give it... Oh, we got another biome jar. Maybe we'll give it another little little test and I'll, I'll show you... Or not another test. <laughs> I tested it before. Uh, we'll, we'll go and do that right now and I'll show you guys. So let's go to a different biome. Let's go to like... Um, um, I don't know. Um... Let's go to Mushy Village. And then we'll take this, right? Oh, there's the turtles. God there. Oh, and and a whale. Okay, so you click it. It I see it's like a, is, is it working? Is it working? Oh, oh. Shaky shaky. Shaky shaky. Shaky shaky. Do I... Oh? 
We have to wait for it to... Build biome jar. How do I... There we go, right click it. So the jar seems to hold a compressed world fragment. It is vibrating in your hand. Maybe you can get it out. Get it out there somehow? <laughs> All right, so now we have mushroom fields in the jar, right? Ooh, actually, while we're here, do I have silk touch on my pickaxe or on my axe? I don't, but I do have it on this. Okay, so now we'll head over. I don't want to do it at home because I don't want mycelium to spread everywhere. So let's go over to, mm, I guess so. Mm, yeah, mm, we'll go to where our, our cows and turtles are, where our original tower is. And then, oh, look at our rainbow turtles. I forgot about them. Oh my gosh, our rainbow animals. And you just go like this. Wait. Wait, that's supposed to be mushroom fields. Why did it turn the grass green? Wait, what? It's supposed to turn the grass to mycelium. Like, it's obviously two different greens. Huh. Okay, well, that's how it's supposed to work. Any hoozle. Well, apparently it didn't. But let's find... Uh, you know what? We have plenty of food, right? Yeah, we have plenty of food. So we're actually going to go back home and then we're going to do... Where is it? Uh, so there's this one. Uh, the Leviathan. The journals from which I discovered these dungeons had to, had this to say. This ancient skeleton can be found in deserts and hides a secret beneath. Explore the ancient temple and find the treasures that rest within. Legend has it that this is where the Leviathan blade resides. Along with treasures, the husks that spawn here are capable of dropping sand with their normal loot. Okay. Then end ruins. So we haven't gone to the end yet. That's in the nether. Okay, so... Um... Can I find it with the compass? Maybe? Maybe? Well, let's check, shall we? Skeleton dungeon. Mmm, I know, I think... Isn't that... Isn't that, like, just a normal dungeon? Like, those underground dungeons? I don't think that's what that is. I don't think that's what that is. I don't think that's what that is. Dungeons Plus, that's what it is. There it is, Dungeons Plus Leviathan. How far away are you gonna be? <clears throat> Not found. Huh. Huh, maybe we have to go to a desert? Uh, I also realize that we don't have a bed here, so we should probably make a bed. Let's do a black bed. And we'll stick you here. That way we're not, you know, reappearing at our other tower. Let's uh, go to a desert, maybe? Let's go desert. <clears throat> Teleport. And then go Leviathan. Search. Hmm. It said under deserts, right? Found in deserts and hides a secret beneath. Explore the ancient temple and find the treasures. Can maybe... No, I don't... Ancient skeleton, maybe? Ancient temple... No. Um, I really want to do this. Maybe RTP and then find another desert? <clears throat> I'm determined. I'm on a mission to find this Leviathan. Seems we've already been over here. That's fine. Game's gonna hate me today. Then we go desert. I'm gonna give it a sec to load before we... Oh, is there a desert close to here? I guess there is. Give it a sec to load. 
before we start TPing around. Well, hello, random waystone. I will take you. Yoink. Oh my goodness, they are smashing and crashing up there. Holy guacamole, Batman. Every time I hear Leviathan, I think of the uh, Cataclysm boss Leviathan. Man, this is going to take a minute to find, isn't it? Hmm. That sucks. I really don't want to spend the entire friggin' episode looking for this one thing. Oh, there is a village though. I will take this. Uh, are you got any food for me? Mm hmm? Maybe? Possibly? I just want to do a dungeon, man. This is what happens when I don't pre-plan my videos out. I just end up- it's just complete and utter chaos. Absolute chaos. Oh, this is pretty. Hello? Oh, hello! Did I just hear a, uh, a, a goblin be- a I almost said a goblabino. <laughs> the heck is a goblabino, Creo? Ooh. Man, those texture packs are cool. Where's the goblabino? Where's the goblabino? That's what I'm gonna call them from now on, goblabinos. Hello. Ooh. Um, hello. Drink. Poor little dude just like comes up to me and he's like, hi. And then just yoink him with the friggin' thing. Sorry, dude. I don't have time to deal with you right now. I have stuff to do and things to go see and, and Leviathans to attempt to boop. Oh, balls. I've learned my lesson. Just keep them on the hot bar. And just go. Do, 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 you should be going in my bags, but I guess technically it's putting it in my inventory because it's not like tossing it up. So my bag isn't scooping it up. There we go. Um, is there another one? There seems to be like two per village, which I really like. Oh, what's this? Whoa, that's the beautify thing. Ooh, pretty. So many tulips. Ooh, I'll take all this. I'll take all this. I'll take all this and this. And this. Thank you. Oh, bags are full. Man, making me miss my Inmus backpacks. All right, so if you guys don't have any more food, I'm gonna be on my my merry way. Oh. Oh, there's no zoom in this. The This little thing over here, this like, uh, sometimes they spawn at the base of like the bandit towers and sometimes they're on their own. Um, but we don't have time to go loot that. I want to find this frickin Leviathan. I want to find the Leviathan, man. But we need to find like a super big desert, I'm assuming, right? Oh, there's another village over there. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, this is that farmer's house thing. Hold on. Uh, temporary waypoint. Where's our broom? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to go over there. Oh, for Pete's sake. I don't know if I've shown you guys this one in this series yet. Is that over there? I know I can make the, the broom thing that makes me zippier, but I'm a little afraid to do that with the way that the chunks are loading. Um, so I think we're going to avoid that. Um, we'll just keep my eye out for the flight totem from Everlasting Abilities. Because I really don't want, um, to break my server. Or my, my, well, it's still a server, but my world. I call it a server, but you guys know what I mean. It is a world. 
I'm going to ignore all this other stuff. Yes. No, this is the bee house again. This isn't the one I was thinking of, but the one I was thinking of, it's like a farmer's. Actually, you know what? We can, we can find it on the compass. We've already seen the bee house, so we're not, we're not going to, we're not going to go here, but, uh, amazing job, Howie. You guys are incredible, but that is not what I want to loot. Have I shown you guys the farmer's house? I don't know. Um, is that what it's called? I don't think that's what it's called though. It's like farm? Maybe farmhouse? Let's see. See if it'll find it. I don't think I've shown this to you guys yet. I don't think. I could be wrong. Again, my stuff all blends together. But it's one of my other favorite... I think I've mentioned it. One of my other favorite integrated dungeons and structures houses. Oh, gosh, my nose. Ooh. I got the tickles. Oi, yi, yi. Woo. Don't sneeze. Ugh. Judging by the cobblestone bricks, it's probably the house I'm thinking of, but I, I don't want to move. Oh, my nose. Oh no, it got, oh, it got borked up because the trees. No. Okay, no, 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 no. We're going home. I want to find another one because I want you guys to see it in all its glory and not broken up by trees. Please don't be the same one. Game's gonna hate me for teleporting around so much, but I want to show you guys this before we go and find the Leviathan. Okay, no, it's a different one. Oh, I have hiccups. Please don't be broken up by trees. Okay. Ah, oh, frick! It's broken up by uh, whatever. That's fine. I was hoping that the little farm pieces wouldn't be bungled up, but... Oh, it's not. So, it comes with like these... It comes with... <laughs> it's like I'm a real estate agent giving you guys a tour of a property. Hold on, let's get rid of this. Yeah, this one's a little bungled up, but that's okay. So, what it does, it has these three like farm plot things, which is really, really cool. So, this is a really good one to take over if you want to do like uh, farming for, you know... Um, you know, stuff for like meals and stuff like that. Oh, there's the horse over there. And uh, yeah, so we're actually going to put a waystone here because this is going to be really nice to kind of have some um, passive farming going until I make my own farm. There we go. Oh, you know what? I don't really like that waystone in this area. I'll do this one. There we go. But yeah, so this is the farmhouse. This is one of my favorites structures that I don't know if this is one Howie's made or not. But oh, it's it's so pretty. Look at this. Oh, there's so many trees in the way though. Like I just I just want to give the people a view here, man. I oh, gotta be in my way. Oh yeah. Oh, and it's right by a Skyrus Vale. Ooh, this is actually not a bad location. Look at that. Those cobblestone bricks are just stunning. Then you got little animal pens here if you ever want to take it over. You kind of are all set up with the uh, stuff. This is a... Uh, hello? Can we just... There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm not going to spend time looting it right now because we have a leviathan to go find. But yeah, you got all the stuff in here. You got villagers in here. Oh, you're a sparkly boy. Oh! Frank walked in front of me. I'm sorry. Resistance! And I got a villager head. I will take that though. Can I? Oh, I don't have enough levels. Sorry, guys. But yeah, I'll come back and loot this later. But yeah, you got some villagers and got stuff up here you can go loot and scoot. Pretty carpets. This is gorgeous. I don't know which uh, which one of the builders made this, but this is beautiful. It's feeling like a Howie house, but it could be someone else. 
Uh, but yeah, okay. I'm gonna go and find the Leviathan and do some tinkering around and I'll bring you guys back. Because if, if I just do this throughout the episode, it's literally just gonna take me 20 million years and uh, the whole episode's gonna be gone. So yeah, I'm gonna go find the Leviathan. Alrighty, so it was about 8,000 blocks away. And this is what you guys want to look out for. Now, you're going to get an achievement called Ancient Remains. Um, but unfortunately, when I TP'd over here, like I was TPing around, and when I came over here, it wasn't loading anything, so I had to log out and log back in. So it, it, it Ancient Remains had popped up in the chat. So that's what you guys will see. Or if you like happen to pass by it or something, if you guys see that achievement, then you know. So I'm guessing that down there is where you go in. That's really, really cool. But before we start looting this and, and looting and scooting and going through it, I'm going to go and empty my bags out real quick. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to bring you guys like I'm not going to go away and bring you guys back for this. It'll take me like two seconds and then we'll just babble abble away. Well, we just dump into the dump chest that I've made yet again uh. <laughs> because uh, yeah. Ooh, I got two. Wait, how did I get so many villager heads already? What the frick? Sure um let's do this and then we'll put you there you there we're gonna hang up frank and bob i don't know why i got like i don't remember them dropping villager heads before but sure that works i can dig it i can dig it trophies oh wow am, am i actually gonna oh am i gonna have to um put down some more dump chests probably I don't spend the time in the episode doing the dumb chat or uh, just uh, completely, if I could word, complete, <laughs> completely emptying and organizing everything because it would take me a million years to sit here and do this and just figure everything out. And I don't want to take that time away from recording time. And despite, you know, Mr. Editor cutting out quite a bit of stuff, I try to make it a, a, <laughs> as easy on him as possible so that he doesn't have to uh, do a whole ton of uh, cutting things out. So it's all a lot of brain pre-planning up in, oops, up in, uh, my, 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 uh, almost said eggnog, <laughs> my noggin. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Today is going to be one of those days. I'm a little disappointed that the biome jars didn't transfer over what it was supposed to. I wonder if that's like a glitch or if that's something like I did wrong or... Um, I'm curious. I'm curious about what the dealio is with that. Um, because it worked when I tried it with the Skyrus Veil Grass. Uh, maybe it only works for like a certain type of ground, which is also possible. And this compacted my freaking torches again, which is very very possible but whatever 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 okay so let's make sure we've got our this one i can actually put in here uh grab these because i don't know how strong these dudes are gonna be so yeah let's let's go in this is really cool looking i mean it's a good place to get bones too right oh actually you know what i should be doing is i should be putting a waystone here because if i go bye bye uh yeah so you know what? Let's do this. Let's do that. Just in case we go bye-bye. Now do I go in through the head? I guess I should have checked that first, huh? Am I supposed to go... Oh, yep. Ooh, very cool. Hello, Stinkies. I hear you. <gasps> Hi! How hard do you hit? Oh, God. Okie dokie, artichokey. They hit hard. Oh. I'm gonna have to get some torches out. Whoa. Oh! Oh! Literally was just like, yeah, there's creepers, a giant creeper there. You know what I'm going to do so that they don't destroy the entire freaking thing? We're just going to claim it. Um, I can't tell if it's going to need more than that, though. We're just going to do this. I'm going to have to remember to unclaim this so I don't wonder where all my freaking claim chunks went. I'm going to actually make a little note for myself. Unclaim Lev 
Leviathan area. There we go. Goodness gracious. Giant stinkies. Hello. I guess that's exactly, it did exactly what it intended to do. Like you, you stare at these giant creepers. Are those emeralds? You stare at these giant creepers and then um, you get creepified. Ooh. Oh, I don't want that. Why did I take that? Whatever. What's this? Probably shouldn't be flipping random levers in a place I've never been. You know, that might be a smart... Oh, oops, 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 oops. That's a good place to use this. Ooh, hello. I'll leave it away. Some flower pots. Hello. Oh. Oh. Is there another one up there? Nope. But there is goodies up there. She says that she's flipping more levers. Ooh, that looks cool. Can I get up here, please? Hello? Ah. Uh, uh. I just want the loot. Cool. Oh, it isn't emeralds, it's copper. I've been through like a lot of dungeons and a lot of packs and I always love seeing new ones that I've never experienced before. What the heck was that? Oh, that's cool looking. A little scary though. Oh, I love that sound. It's so satisfying. Is there, is there a... Oh, whoa! Ah! Jesus! <laughs> well played! Well played! Well played! Oh my god. Is there a stuff? Are these graves? These graves, they have things in them. No? Oh my god, that scared the freaking bejesus out of me. Uh, oh. That opened something. That's a cute little way to do pots. Oh my god, my heart. My freaking heart. What? Uh... Oh, I just heard something else open. Oh. Oh! Whoa, there's like hidden loot rooms. We'll take that. Um... Um... Uh... Did you guys hear the boom booms? I heard the boom booms. Where the boom boom... Uh... I heard the boom booms. You guys heard the boom booms, right? Oh, there's little torches up there. That's cute. Okay, so here's the question. How do I get downstairs? There's like, I could hear dudes behind the creeper. Oh, like back here. But how do I get in there? Um... Oh, I just realized that's Lapis. Huh. 
How does one get behind the thingamabob in the doohickey mifflim flams? Yep. Hi. I don't like that creeper face in front of a chest. That makes me very nervous. Oh. Oh! Thought it was gonna be bigger than that. There's a Leviathan's blade. Oh. Cool! Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, I got a pokey stick. Pokey pokey. It's so weird playing without the, the better combat mod. Just swinging like normal. Alright, well that was that, I guess. Oh man, I was kind of hoping it was going to be bigger. I want to I go do a bigger dungeon, but... Okay, so that's all unclaimed now. I guess we can go back up to our Leviathan Waystone. Oh, it's a sleepy time. That's fine. We can just go home. Not with caps lock on, we can't. All right, let's have a sleep. Okay, that was kind of small. That's fine though. Size doesn't matter. It was still, it was still good. It still, it still gave me a scare. I'm just like on a dungeon, just hunt today. You tell that my brain is just, it just needs the distractions, you know? Um, so we should have this now. So we did this one. Nice. Okay, so these other two are in the nether and in the end, so I'm not quite ready to do that yet. Not tourist destination. So I'm guessing that's if you have like a full thing of uh, netherites. Visit all the vanilla biomes. Okay. Obtain a bound scroll. The bound scroll is a single use item which can teleport you to a waystone to which it is bound. Simply crouch and right click the waystone to bind the scroll. Each scroll must be bound individually. However, you can craft return scrolls and bind an entire stack at once. Simply hold right click with it. Hold right click with it in your hand in order to activate it. If you take damage or let go while it is charging, the warp will cancel. Nice. Share stones are cool. Share stones are very, very cool. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do that and I will empty this out. And then I will, of course, uh, tinker around with all this while I'm doing edit notes for Mr. Editor, because that's usually when I tend to do my thumbnails and um, empty out the chest monster after I have recorded. Multitasking queen over here. Those mama skills come in handy for many, many things. Uh, so I'll do that. Toss you guys in there. That, that's uh it's funny they they really played on the whole um um like looting goblin looting goblin loot goblin tendencies of people and i think that's uh, smart for for uh dungeon creators because you don't you know like people are just gonna get like a uber turbo distracted with you know, being like, ooh, shinies, you know, which is exactly what happened with me. Like, I found gold up that creeper's butt, and then, like, all of a sudden, you know, stuff dropped on my head. But any hoozle. So, um, is there another, like, part of the story we need to do, or I'm guessing we just have to go to the nether for the next one? I don't want to do the Twilight Forest stuff, because I'm like, I mean, we're going to do it, just not right now, because I've done Twilight Forest stuff like in all my episodes or all my series so scavenger hunt pufferfish ooh horn coral block oh, that's the yellow one right trio of stews beef stews and stuff okay cool 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 cool, cool. i want to go to a dungeon i am in a do a dungeon mood today and we have so many things in here from all of these amazing mods, so why the freak not, you know? Like, oh my, like, this is crazily massive. Good God. Can I just type in, oh, whoa. Can I just type in dungeon? Oh, these are just redone dungeons. Okay, that's not gonna work. Um, It's gonna have specific names, okay. I don't wanna do it when dungeons arise 
big dungeon because those take quite a bit of time. Uh, but we can find like a kind of medium sized one, maybe. Maybe. Uh, castle. Castle? What's this one? What's this one? Oh, is this just a villager thing? That's gonna be like a go into battle the king. <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a fighting mood. I wanna battle things. Oh, there's a shiny there. I'm sorry. What'd he give me? Step assist. Oh, this is another one you guys can take over. It's got little animal pens. It's got some villagers. It's got some loot. It's got some chests. I'm not going to loot this, but I will put a waystone here because I, like I said, I am on a mission to find a dungeon. Uh, <laughs> um, hi, how do I get out of your house? Oh, there's another throne. Oh, it's another one of these where the door is two friggin' trap doors. Oh. 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 Uh, I think I broke your door, you guys. I apologize. My bad. Sorry. Uh, good luck. Anyways, I'll come back and do that later. I want to find somewhere to go and boop some snoots. There's a mod in, and I don't know if it's a forge mod as well. There's a mod in um, Prominence where it like really amplifies the um, architectural, like using the brushes and, and you know, dusting the sus gravel. And I kind of wish that was in here because it's really, really cool. I have to show you guys that in my, um, well, I guess it's probably good. It's not in here, but uh, yeah, it's uh, really, really cool. I can't have to show that in the next next few episodes. Um, we could do an evoker fort. Oh, that's from iron spells. That's not that big. Um, I mean, I guess technically we could find the ends. We could find the um words. Stronghold. Because the stronghold in this pack is, oh my god. It's got a whole like story in it and stuff like that. Um A lot of stuff is underground in this. Like a lot of stuff. Haunted Manor is the one that Howie was talking about that we did, which is really cool. Hermit's Hollow? What's this? Wait, what's this? Now I'm gonna be like, is this something Howie built? Is this something Howie built? <laughs> Let's see. And yes, I'm using the compass to teleport around. I'm a witch, I can do that. Don't care. I, I've kind of gotten, you know, um, hard skinned to people complaining about how I do things. Like I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not cheating anybody out of anything. It's my series. I'll do what I want. I'm not like, cheating to make things easier on me like i'm 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 playing the pack but i'm teleporting around like it's it is what it is you guys will be all right uh oh there we go i don't know if the game's gonna be all right though Woo! this is whoa whoa this is freaking cool man hold on let's go outside i want to get i want to get a look oh my god this is so cute how have i not did that skunk just growl at me? <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my god, this is beautiful. So for oh my god, Ash, this 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 she is a swamp witch, but I think this would be really really good for her like in a swamp. Like this would, oh my god, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I um, judging by how he's saying that they were making like a hobbit village. I think that this might be one of theirs because this is so pretty. Oh my God. Does this clock actually, do those actually work? Oh my, it almost looks like they work. That's crazy. Like they, the time, like the correct time. Oh wow. This is beautiful. Let's see what kind of loot's in them. Ooh, okay. Still on, on a hunt for doing a dungeon, but that's okay. I guess we could just technically use the um, the compass to find the strongholds. I can never find like the entrance, like the where you're supposed to start with those ones. <laughs> Look at the glass.
glasses on the on the, the armor stand. That's so funny. Okay, that's fine. I'll I'll put a waystone here and name it Hobbit and come back later. Because I want to go find. Now normally these are underneath a house, and you go down below the house and like you can start through the house and then you go down and it connects to the craziness underneath. Um. But I don't remember what the house is. I'm trying to think if I remember what the house is. I don't remember. Uh, so we'll just, we'll go home. This, can we just to appreciate the biome this spawned in? It's got these towers here. These have loot at the top of them. There's a village over the, wait, this is, this is such a good area. Oh my God. Okay. Well, uh, the seeds in the, the first uh, episode, if you guys want this and you guys can see the, the, um, the coordinates here, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's go home and then we'll see if there's a stronghold near the house. <clears throat> Integrated stronghold strongholds. 555. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to travel in the overworlds and we're going to see if there's the house at the top because I, I could be thinking of something different and I want to see if I am because again, things blend together for me in mod packs. So uh, ADHD brain go burr and all that stuff, you know? So let's head over there because I definitely want to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't we need a soul for one of the eyes? Don't we need like a, a, a skeleton horse soul or something for one of the eyes? I'm going to feel so bad doing this. I'm so sorry. We didn't get a soul. Okay. I think... Please tell me it was skeleton horse and I didn't just kill the skeleton horse for no reason. I'm pretty sure it is, right? <laughs> or did I just kill a skeleton horse for no reason? I feel so bad. I'm sorry, little dude. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure that's the one that you need for the eyes, right? Uh, and yeah, for the undead eye, this one here, the undead soul. I have to kill 50 wraiths to get that one, but I know like on the website or something, it said that you have to kill like skeleton horses or something for it. I could be wrong. Again, and packs can change the requirements and stuff like that for it too, so I could be wrong. Uh, but let's, uh, make our way over here. Oh gosh, the game is not having it with me today. Okay, so maybe it doesn't come up to a house. Maybe I was thinking of something else. Okay, so maybe I was thinking of something else. Okay, I was. I swore that there's like a, a thing that attaches to it. Whoa. What are you guys? Frost stalkers. This one's glowing and I kind of... It's also moving a lot. Uh-oh. Game's not happy with me. I, can't, I cannot shoot from this broom. Oh my god. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, ice cream. Oh, oh, that's so sad. What'd you give me? Strength one. Okay. All right. So it says it's in here. Obviously, it makes sense because normally... Oh no, I'm thinking of ancient cities. Ancient cities being under mountains. Oh, his friend is not very happy with me. I'm sorry, dude. Your friend was glowing. Okay, so it says it's in here. How far away from my home are we? Um, We're not that far away, but I don't think my torch is going to reach this, so... Uh, so oh, let's have a sleep. Let's have a sleepy deepy. Ouch! -a. Wait. Oh, hi. My God, the bouncing is literally going to be the end of me. Stop it. Okay. So, go down in here, I guess.
Yeah. You'd think it would it would bring you to the entrance, right? But I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. It's very close to our Whoa. That's a lot of stinkies. That's a heckin' lot of stinkies. And at least we'll have, you know, the the place we gotta go once we get all the eyes. Because Endry Mastered is in this. Am I going to the right spot here? Yeah, because look at all the stuff underneath. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Gorgeous. A lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. Yep, there it is. Whoa! Yeah, it's so big. So here, this one here is usually like underneath the house. Like sometimes like the thing that you go up, it's like underneath something. But maybe I'm thinking of something different. I could be. Blech. Well, hello. But yeah, these things are freaking massive. So I always end up getting lost. <laughs> so we're definitely gonna- oh yeah, see down there more? Oh my gosh, it's so big. Wow. It's- oh frick you guys, I hate you so much. Um, the uh, no matter how many times I do these, I'm still so just like enamored by them every time I see them. I need to, is there? Is there not a spawner in here? Where did he come from? Is there not a spawner in here? Where did he come from? Yeah, right there. Jeez Louise. Well, this is going to be an entertaining run of me getting smacked by friggin' forgotten dudes. Because they are literally everywhere in this place. Uh, yep, yeah, see? Literally just what I said. Where's your spawner, sir? Oh, are you stuck? Notice that they switch between weapons? So... Hi. It's so funny to watch them switch between weapons like that. So you get like mechanical drills from create on oh and it's on a table oh that's that's twisted that's twisted that's so twisted there's mechanical drills on a table with chairs oh that's so twisted oh my god that's so unbelievably twisted okay let's read this oh pff. or not <laughs> <laughs> Day tallies. Yep. Oakley tokley, artichokely. I do want this. It's really cool looking. Thank you. I'll take that and I'll take that. And I will take those. Thank you. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm not gonna rush through this. I'm just gonna take my time. It's definitely gonna be a more than one episode thing. Hey, what's this? Iron pillar. Definitely going to be a more than one episode thing because um, it's quite large. It is quite large. Take that. The purple and black. Everybody knows I am a purple, purple, <laughs> purple and black lover. That is a pretty well known thing. Whoa. Okay, hold on. So this is really close to our house, right? And I kind of... I kind of want to put a... This isn't going to affect spawners, so I know people are going to... wonder about that. But I am going to put one of these down to stop natural spawns. Because I'm already going to be oohing and aahing over how beautiful this is and getting smacked by friggin' forgotten dudes. Jeez. This is incredible! This is absolutely incredible looking. 
Can I turn this on? This is... This is so pretty. I'm gonna turn all these on. Oh my god. So I've run these strongholds before, like in uh, other worlds. Either all of them, like, uh, spawn differently, or I just haven't gone to every single room. Because I don't remember... I don't remember there being this room. Underground farming. Since migrating underground, we have had the need to farm produce underground to supply food to our people. Throughout the hundreds of years we have lived here, we have been perfecting the skill of underground farming. Farming traditionally requires water and sunlight, both of which can be a problem underground. To get the crops properly hydrated, we created fluid tanks and pipes that transport water from waterlogged caves around the area and into our farming areas. These pipes are typically made of copper and require rotational force to be operated. The problem of sunlight was easier to address than water. The installation of light sources such as lamps properly heated and illuminated the crops. Redstone illuminator. Oh. That's really cool. And really clever for underground stuff. I'm gonna grab all these things here. Oh, another book. Is that the same one I just read? Yeah, it's the same one I just read. So cool. This is absolutely stunning. I don't want to like ruin it because I kind of want to use it for my thumbnail. That's so cool. Although I have a completely separate world for my thumbnails, but still, if I can't find this variation in that world, I'll just come back in here and use this. I'm just going to put that in there. Oh, actually, no, I want to keep that and put that in there. So pretty. Oh my God. Love it. Okay, onward. Grab that, grab that. So, I don't think there's anything else on this floor. Methinks, methinks. Oh yeah, we already went in here. All right, let's go down. Button. Whoa. I forgot just how freaking big this place is. Oh, it's a mimic. It's like, why is there a random chest? Oh, we already have one of these, don't we? Yeah, we do. That's fine, though. I'll put you in here. So we'll look around here. Oh my gosh, it's so easy to get lost in these places, by the way. So just be very wary of that. Because it's so big. Uh, I think that's where we just came from, question mark? I think I'm already getting lost. Um, I don't want to go in there just yet. I know what that room is. Do I want to go down the side hallways first? Um, Maybe. Kind of. Possibly? Yes. Okay, we'll go this way first. Whoa. It's extra woey because all of these uh, quark, what are they called again? Corundum? Are spawning around the, the ceiling and stuff like that, which is obviously not part of the build. That's just generation. But this is, uh, I guess, the redone library. Got a dart there. A fruit, a golden apple, rose quartz, nothing, <laughs> a fishing rod with a chorus fruit on it, another golden apple, another rose quartz, another golden apple. I wish I could run down the stairs without bouncing. Like, I'm literally not pressing anything but W, and it's making me bounce. So yeah, there's going to be a ton of poison spiders around here and some hidden chests, but uh, I don't see any on this side here. Well, there's a chest here. Got the, um... 
what is this thing called again the abacus which is awesome for building if you're pe if, if you're people like me if you're like me um and you constantly have to count the blocks the abacus helps out there i actually learned that when i was doing an all the mods stream a while ago and people were explaining it to me like i said i don't know everything about every mod so it's nice to have a community that's just like well creo you see oh there's books hold on i want to read the books rude hold on okay can i read Okay, so we've got architecture, architecture, let me just put this, we're just going to take these. We've already done the farming one. Uh, so journal, architecture, scripture, we've got a scripture one there, okay. Put you away. Like that, like that, like that. Put you away, put you away, put you away. Okay, let's read journal. Journal. Day 231. As I was researching enchanting late at night in the corner of the Grand Library, I witnessed other researchers emerging from inside of the fireplace. I was bewildered. I hid behind some bookshelves so they wouldn't notice me. Since then, I have been trying to find how they got in there. I wonder if it has something to do with the levers below the signs in the language of enchantment. Ooh, there's a puzzle in here. I love it. Uh, blah, 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 guide to architecture and design. Architecture and design is the pride of our people. It is our mission to create detailed and intricate designs in our builds and to create wonders throughout the world. In this guide, I will teach you about specific techniques and things to keep in mind while achieving excellence in the art of architecture and design. Detail through depth. One of the best ways to achieve detail in builds is depth. Depth can transform a stone or wooden box into something magnificent, magnificent and unique. Methods of adding depth include setting parts of a wall back or forward adding pillars, archways, walls, stairs, and slabs. You rarely have too much depth. If a wall or build of a if a wall or part of a build seems boring, the first thing you should do is try adding more depth. Stairs and slab trims around walls can help break it up. One can also add the illusion of depth through trims. Trims are lines in the blocks of the bottom top or even through the middle of the builds. If they are darker at the bottom, this can provide the illusion of shadow, making it feel more detailed and less bland. Gradients. Another way to make your builds unique and interesting is gradients. A gradient is a mix of colors that solely works from one color to another. An example of this is the gradient formed when mixing blackstone to deep sloan, deep sloan, <laughs> deep slate to regular stone. You can also use more colorful gradients. Try making your own color gradients. I find it super fun to try um, to use more unique gradients in builds. Eye lines. One really important thing to keep in mind when building is eye lines. Where is the viewer going to come into the build? What are they going to see first? What stands out and is going to attract their attention? Thinking about this while planning a build and its layout can elevate a project from a build to a work of art. I love the team that took the time to put that into a book because obviously the integrated dungeons and structures team is incredibly talented and we already know this. And the person, uh, the team who built this stronghold obviously is very very talented so the fact that they put that into a book for derpsicles like me who know absolutely nothing about building that's really really cool and i am so enthralled by that so that's i'm gonna keep that book because that's that's so cool the fact that they took the time to write that and teach people things like and it's it's correct it's not just with architecture and building it's also with art and real life or anything to do in real life like you can tell these people have like some sort of like they have to have an architectural background. Whoever wrote that does, because that's very, very true. Um, I don't know. I'm the kind of person that I have a lot of ideas in my head about building, but when it comes to building it in Minecraft, it's just like, for some reason, my brain just doesn't transfer from real life to Minecraft. It's just, so I have so much respect and like, I'm in awe of the people who can do this kind of stuff. The scripture. We have one goal, to breathe beauty and life into this world through building. Our current form limits our ability to fulfill our imaginations. To realize, to realize our full potential, we must achieve the end form. The end form is the next step in our evolution. It is all our... Oh my god, if I could read. It is our full potential realized. The bounds of our mortal bodies would be lifted. We would be free to build. The end will be granted to us by the one above all. She needs us, her disciples, to fulfill her goals. With our help, the one above all will snuff out the fires of the forest. She will cease all famine. She will save the sick and the needy. She will stop the blah, blah, blah from rising. She will elevate us to new levels. Trans Together we will transform this world into a sanctuary for all, free of violence, suffering, and blah, blah, blah. We know this. We have already seen it from the rocks. We are. We have already seen it in the rocks from the sky. Ooh, Lord. 
<laughs> this team is great. I can't, like, ugh. The talent. The talent. Wait, did I loot everything? I didn't. I forgot to loot these. Uh, geodes. Okay, we've got a geodes book. Uh, enchanting. I'm just, I'm just taking the ones that we haven't read yet. So we'll read these ones. Uh, did I read this one? Enchanting, a complete history by blah, blah, blah. Did I already read this one? Wait, 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 wait. Did I read this one already? Wait, did I read this one already? I don't know. Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, so enchanting, a complete history by blah, blah, blah. Enchanting is a magic practice used to enhance our tools, weapons, and armor. An enchantment can not only give your item new features, but it can also push it, its existing ability to a whole new level. Enchanting was discovered and perfected right here in this stronghold. Enchant an item at an enchanting table. The more knowledge and experience you have, the stronger the enchants will be. Harness the magic of the enchant... Of encha <laughs> Harness the magic of enchanting through the language of enchantment. A direct translation guide between it and the common tongue can be found right here in the Grand Library. That's so cool. Geodes. Geodes and corundums by blah, blah. Geodes and corundums are glowing colorful rocks found in caves. Well, maybe those are supposed to be here with magic properties. In this text, we will examine the properties of each of them. And geodes are spherical rocks found underground. They typically have three layers. The outer layer is composed of dark gray smooth basalt. The second layer is made of a white rock calcite. The inside is laced with amethyst, a purple gemstone. Gemstones are <laughs> amethysts are a purple glowing crystal that can sprout amethyst clusters. Amethyst clusters grow in size after they bud. One of the most interesting properties of amethyst is their sound. They make a very satisfying sound when interacted with. Amethyst can also be used as a crafting ingredient. When crafted into lenses, it can be used to magnify objects. These lenses are often used in... These lenses are often used in spyglasses. Corundums. Corund corundums? Corundums are colorful crystals found throughout caves. It can be almost any color. In their natural form, they will spread and grow rapidly. This could be prevented with wax. They can be crafted with runes to color them. Runes can runes are used in enchantment to color the glint of an enchantment. So that's what those are for. Okay. Cool beans. I want to go and try to do the puzzle for the door. Because I've always just broken through the fireplace. <laughs> I've never I'm I'm sorry builders if you're watching this but um I've never done the oh frick off I've never done the um the puzzle so we'll try to figure that out and I've also never read the books in here by the way like when I've come in here I've just blasted through in typical creo fashion um which makes me believe that these may spawn with different rooms because I've never seen that farming room. So if it doesn't, if it's the same all around, maybe, oh, oops, oops. Maybe I'm just big derp, which is also very, very possible because it is me after all. More of these goodies. What's this one? Miners. Looting. Farming journal scripture. Okay, we've read all those. Very, very cool. Lot of tomes. Lot of tomes, folks. Lot of tomes. Which is good, because tomes are going to amplify our enchants. Uh, even though I have added apotheosis, but uh, still good to have. Uh, undead. That's a new one. Let's read that. Uh, rules guide to the undead. Undead creatures are hostile, threatening creatures that lurk in the darkness of caves, the night, and even in the sky. If you see one and you lack an adequate weapon, run and don't look back. Zombies. Zombies are common monsters that attack in hordes. They are a multitude of there are a multitude of variants of zombies due to their infectious nature. They are said to be the remains of blah, 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 reanimated through necromancy. Since the zombies are infectious, there is talk of developing a cure, although nothing has been successful thus far. Here are the ones known to us now. They may be there may be others yet to be discovered. Common zombies emerge in the darkness and will attack blah, 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 and blah, blah. They occasionally possess swords and armor. Additionally, they can break down doors. Although they hit hard, they are rather slow and easy de easily dealt with from a distance. Baby zombies are variants of common zombies that are significantly faster. They can also fit in a one block space. Sometimes they will mount chickens. This gives them the ability to float down from high places. They are particularly annoying and relentless. They are. Husks are zombies found in the desert biomes. 
They are very similar to common zombies, but are known to make all those touched by them extremely hungry. Drowned are zombies found underwater. They carry copper, seashells, and occasionally tridents. They on the only known way to obtain a trident is through killing them. If zombies and husks are submerged in water for a long period of time, they will be converted to drowned. Zombie horses. Blah, 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 blah. Skeletons, much like zombies, skeletons are said to be the remains of blah, 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 reanimated through necromancy. Unlike zombies, they are not infectious. They are only two known skeleton variants in our world. Common skeletons emerge in the darkness and will attack. Blah, blah, blah. They typically carry bows and will shoot from a distance, but when given a sword, they will use it. Although they can be rather annoying, their arrows can be blocked with a shield. Strays are variants of common skeletons that spawn in colder areas. They, they carry arrows of slowness rather than normal arrows. Take extra precautions when encountering them. Skeleton horses are extremely mysterious and have only been spotted during thunderstorms. If one is approached, a bull is triggered. They typically have four bull mounted on them wearing enchanted gear. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. I, this is this is great. This is so great. Uh, I think we can go down see any more did i forget a chest over here i did not i did not okay so that's geodes oh nether we have another book so little guide to the fiery creatures of the nether the nether is a dimension beneath our own full of fire lava and all things hot and dangerous its inhabitants must be adapted to this precarious environment we only recently got access to this dimension after the invention of the nether portal the nether portal the nether portal is a hollow rectangle of obsidian with a purple glowing aura once lit with items such as a flint and steel or fire charge it will activate upon activation when an entity goes through they are transported into the nether dimension piglins piglins are a race of walking pigs living in the nether they like biomes such as the nether waste and crimson forests they value gold very highly and are hostile if you are not wearing any occasionally they will defend their items and attack if chests are open nearby they are a rather intelligent species and have built massive blackstone bastions scattered throughout the nether we must continue to treat their kind with dignity for the benefit of everyone. Hoglins. Hoglins are a race of large pig-like animals that are hostile to just about everything they come across. However, they do not attack piglins. They are a great source of meat and leather in the nether dimension. Magma cubes are a blob-like creature found in the Basal Delta biome. Once slain, they split into smaller uh, split into smaller magma cubes. They are hostile, but not but the smallest ones will not do any harm. Their essence is a valuable potion ingredient. Striders. Striders are passive creatures near lava lakes in the nether. They have the incredible ability to walk on lava. Maybe this power can be utilized to navigate the fiery dimension. Ghasts. Ghasts are screaming flying cubes of fiery death and destruction. They are found in nether ways in soul sand valleys. If you see one and you don't have a ranged weapon, run away as fast as you can. If you can perform the daunting task of collecting its tears, they are said to possess many magical abilities. I love the description of that. Wraith. The Wraith is a floating translucent entity found in soul sand valleys. They are said to be a little of a previous being due to their familiar sounding screams. Foxhound. Oh my god, the foxhound invasion. Foxhounds are a wolf-like creature found throughout the nether dimension. They are hostile initially, but with fire resistance and coal they can be domesticated blah, 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 blah. oh my gosh that's so cool i'm not usually a lore person but um because of how much i absolutely like love these builds and structures and stuff and obviously the time and love that goes into them i love reading these books because clearly they've uh oh my god Ugh! they've um put a lot of love into them Okay, let's go down, see if we can do this puzzle before the end of the episode. Like I said, I normally rush through this place, but I'm enjoying reading all these stories and things. Got all this stuff on the ground. I don't want to break anything in case it has something to do with the puzzles. Because, like, look, so I'm assuming these things here, right? You have to figure out which levers to flip. Hey, little dude. I'll let you wander. So, yeah, there's... Oh god, okay, I need to get rid of these stupid friggin' spiders first. Where's your spawner? Where's your spawner? Where's your spawner? Where's a spawner there? Oh, there's a stinky there. Where's your other spawners? I want to do the puzzle. Ooh, that looks really cool in black. I'm not a fan of black and gold together, but... Normally, but that looks pretty cool. Oh, Jesus scared me. I was about to hit you. Any more spawners? Yep. One there. There's a screechy boy there. 
Okay. Can I... No? Where's the other friggin... Oh, I keep wanting these skeletons. Where's the other spider? Where's my friggin... Arrow? Oh, there you are. Okay, are we done? Okay, so... Is there a book? Oh my god. Is there a thing that tells you which ones to flip? Or is there like a... Is there like a puzzle or... I don't see any books, so maybe I do have to loot these chests? Maybe there will be like a clue? There's asteroid. What was the book that that? Wait, did I leave it upstairs? There was a book that said something about um. Wait, no, hold on. Journal, undead, architecture, architecture, journal. Was it journal? Oh crap! I should have kept it in my inventory. Oh, it was this one. It was journal. I hid my scissors in there. I wonder if this has something to do with the levers below the signs in the language of enchantment. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. Okay. The asteroid. On day 11 of living underground in the Finnish stronghold, a rock from the sky crashed to the ground into our dining hall. It was a light green yellow color with craft with crafters, with, cra with craters speckled all over the surface. It crashed in the middle of the night at 11.18 p.m. Many of the people nearby awoke to the noise and investigated. All those who approached it were met with visions they believed to be from the future. They all had the same vision. It depicted a mighty dragon flying through the sky. What came next is up for debate. Some believe that was all they saw. Others believe they also saw visions of the dragon helping them build a better world. The, the mystery of what they really saw will likely never be solved. Oh, Jean. Some of them went on to write the scripture and worship, the one above all. They believe the one above all or the dragon will help them achieve the end or a higher form. Since then, there has been a great divide among us whether we should trust these visions and follow the scripture. The asteroid was taken by the disciples for further research. They do not disclose the location to non-believers. Aw, I'm sure Jean is just trying to help you guys do better things. She's a good egg. We like Jean here. She's a sweet, sweet dragon. Okay. So is there going to be something that's going to kind of give me clues as to... Um... What levers to flip? I'm hoping so. Enchanting journal. We've read all these. Um, book and quill, more goodies. History, scripture, we read history, right? Oh, maybe not. The bl a complete history. We are an ancient race of bl travelers who hunted and gathered for food. Eventually, we settled down and began farming crops such as wheat, carrots, and potatoes. This gave us newfound time to build. The passion is our passion is building. It is what makes us who we are. We built cities that stretched for hundreds of blocks. We were prospering. All that changed when the bullet came. The bullet forced us to flee. They burned our cities and fields. They destroyed our homes. This is that is why we settled in this mighty stronghold. It is a fortress underground that we hope they will never reach. Since then, we have made a life for ourselves underground. We developed an entire society with no need of sun or the light of day. We do everything from farming to bull in this mighty underground fortress. Our researchers have even developed new technologies such as rotational power and blah, 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 blah. Since the faithful day that the bull struck, um, we have looked to the skies for the mighty one above all. We believe that one day we will reunite with the one above all to stop the bubble and create a better world for all of its inhabitants. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We're running out of time here, so I want to try to open this door. Uh, but I don't just want to go flipping random levers. I'm probably going to have to, though, because I don't see anything that's going to... Like, is there going to be something that's going to kind of give us a little clue? Because, okay, so there's... Oh, there's a... Wait, did I miss... Wait, what? Wait. Oh. Redstone. There's a redstone one here. Oh. Redstone. A, B... Okay, so those are, am I supposed to spell out redstone? C, 
So R is the four dots. There's the four dots there. Are you supposed to flip it every time? Oh, here's a book literally right in front of my face. For all those worthy of the cause, the code to open the Lab of Secrets is the name for the one who awaits us. The name of the one who awaits us. If the one above is the dragon, the dragon's name is Jean, right? Three dots. The dragon's name is Jean. But there's no three dots. Hmm. The one who awaits them. But in the stories, it said Jean. Uh, the dragon, which is Jean. I'm gonna have to flip more than one, right? But I'm confused because... That's S, S, T, O, S, T, O, N, E, stone. That says stone. That says O, N, E, stone one. A. All. Stone one all. I'm going to write that underneath. And this one is A, B, O, V, E, above. Oh, the one above, the one above, the one above all, right? That's what it was, the one above all? The one above all. I was like thinking her literal name. Okay, hold on. So this one is oh E N D And this one is D R a G O N. It's going to be dragon. Oh, so maybe it's the end dragon. Wait, 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 wait. Let's try that. No, there's no Z. Maybe just end dragon. No. Is there another f sign? That's stone. Did I read that one wrong? Did I do that one wrong? No. No, I didn't do that one wrong. Is there another lever somewhere? Because it says the one who's waiting for them, which is the one above all. Or end dragon. So let's do one above 
all. End dragon? Oops. Hmm. But what stone? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, because in the books it said one above all. I don't think I have to flip all of them, right? The code to open the lab of secrets is the name for the one who waits us. Who waits us. Well, it's not Jean. Like, it obviously you can't do that. But there's no the. So it's not the end dragon. It wouldn't be stone end dragon. One end dragon? All? Dragon above all? I don't freaking know. I'm confused. I feel like I'm missing something here. Hmm. Maybe dragon above all? Or did something get like ruined in the generation where the redstone's not working? Oh, wait, it's a dragon above ends. Hmm. Hmm. Because I did one above all, right? One above all. Yeah, but if you guys see when I'm flipping, when I flipped this one, oh, maybe it is. Hmm. And stone? Dragon? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Is there like other switches somewhere? I don't see any. I don't think. I don't see any other ones. Hmm. Anyways, it's supposed to open this, but I'm slightly confused because wh where does stone play in this? Like, end stone, but I don't get it. I don't get it, man. Will you flip the frickin' lever? Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't get it. Translate the signs using the language of enchantment. I am. I did. But it's not working. I did translate the signs. It didn't work. Well, we're going in. Oh. Maybe something got goobered up. Because that's not working either. Oh, I think something got goobered up. Yeah, I think something might have gotten goobered up in the generation. Because that should have opened. Oh, there's a friggin' Twilight Forest dude in here. Yeah, because that, that lever should have opened it from this side. Hello? Oh, screechy buggers. Oh no, never mind. It's a, it's a wraith. So pretty. So pretty. Ooh, ancient bookshelves. Yes, please. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm gonna grab these. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, our bags are full. Whoopsie doopsie. Whoopsie. That kind of sucks. I'm, I'm assuming something got goobered up in the um, generation because that flip on the other side should have flipped like the mechanic. Like I didn't break any redstone. So uh, yeah, but we will definitely continue going through this structure in the next episode because there's just so much. Oh my god, look at all the friggin... Look at all the stuff. So much stuff. Uh, journal, journal, portal. Did we read the portal? Portal device. We've assembled what we believe to be a portal device from the contents of the asteroid. We are re relocating this portal device to a location deep within the stronghold behind a maze of puzzles and traps. This way our hard work cannot be tampered with by those who think our experiments are too dangerous. We hope this portal device can finally help us reach the, reach the one above all. We are going to send a team into the portal within the next few days. All our hard work is finally going to pay off. Ooh. Did I um, put a book in here that I didn't read yet? Nether Asteroid Undead Lab. Lab? Did I read the lab? The secret lab. This newly built as of day 225 hidden lab behind the Grand Library is devoted to extraterrestrial research and development. The main goal behind this research is to find a way to reach the one above all. Oh, cool. Very freaking cool. Journal, portal, we've read all that. Another portal. Journal. Well, we definitely have quite a bit to explore next time. That is for sure. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Today was full of a lot of fun and I cannot wait to continue the storyline with you. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.